Hi, this is Thomas J. Seaborn Photography showing you how I set up my Sony E55 for either star trail images or pretty much any other type of night photography. Uh, immediately the first thing that uh, you may or may not notice is that I switch uh, my steady shot off. You really don't need that if your camera is on a tripod and there are some people that say that that can even mess up your long exposures. Uh, I've not found that to be true, but uh, I don't need it, so I'm going to turn it off because why take the risk? Uh, the second thing you'll see is that I'm going to put my camera on manual. Uh, manual mode, that's the M on your top dial up here. Let's bring that back up. Whoops. There we go, just took an image. Uh, you can see that uh, the front dial on the Sony A850 controls the shutter speed. I always have this in bulb because I'm going to be using some sort of remote to activate the shutter. Uh, the second thing uh, is my ISO. I always set it to 400 when I'm setting up, especially if we have a new moon. I like ISO 400. It seems to not give me too much noise. I can go higher, but I really never go above 1600 on this camera model just because it's kind of old. Some of the other automatic settings you want to make sure are all turned off. I'm going to have the manual focus dial in front turned to manual focus. Obviously, you don't want to use autofocus for your night shots because it'll be dark and your camera will not be able to focus on anything. So, the next thing I like to do if uh, we're shooting under the moon is set the white balance to. Uh, 4,500 Kelvin, that's approximately the color of the moon. Um, it'll depend on the atmosphere, though, in which you're shooting, but that's a, a good number for it to be. Um, it's important to not have that on auto, just in case your camera decides it wants to change it between images. It's not the end of the world if you're shooting in RAW, but just adds to the post-processing work. So you can see here uh, that my drive mode is going to be in continuous advance. Uh, you're going to want that because... Uh, if you're shooting star trails in particular, you're going to need your camera to not uh, slow down between shots because that will cause gaps in your star trails. Uh, same is true with autofocus. If you're using a shutter uh, release cable, uh, if that's pressed down, a lot of times that will activate the autofocus. I've been out shooting star trails when that has happened, and it totally screwed up my entire series, which is really frustrating. Let's go back to our view mode here. Uh, you can see here that uh, I have 422 shots left uh, on this memory card. It's empty right now. Uh, it's a 16 gigabyte. This camera takes 24 megabyte images. Actually, I think the raw files are 37. Uh, as you can see, you got a full battery. You've got to have a full battery charge if you're doing night photography, any type of uh, or any type of long exposure photography. Because if your battery dial is, dies during the exposure, it can corrupt your uh, memory card. Uh, the next thing, very, 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 very important step if you're shooting star trails is to turn off your long exposure noise reduction. Uh, I always have that off. I feel that Photoshop and various other third-party plugins do a great job at eliminating noise. So that pretty much covers what I you have, uh, you know, when I set my camera up. As you can see, it's on a tripod, obviously. Uh, this is my newer Gitzo Basalt tripod. I would have liked a carbon fiber, but carbon fiber is really expensive. So I got the compact one because I usually, in my compositions, are low to the ground anyway. And that helped save on some weight and some cost. Uh, next, I'm going to show you uh, how to set up your timer remote and where it goes, at least on a Sony camera. So here is my timer cable release that you plug into the camera that is going to control your shutter actuations. Uh, this is like a $20 remote that was made in China that I got on eBay. So there are four different things you can set up uh, or you can tell this remote to do. If we click here on the set control dial, uh, the first one is delay, which you would tell uh, the remote to lay your shot, the first shot by whatever you want it to do. I always have that on zero because I don't need a delay. 
The next one, when you click to the right, is the length of the exposure. You can see that this is set up right now for a minute and 15 seconds. Uh, I'm going to give you an example of how this works here in a second, so I'm just going to set it up so it has a five second exposure. So to do that, I hit the set button, and now I'm setting the minutes. Click over to the right, and then you can set your seconds. Actually, no, let's just do three. Why waste your time? The next one is the interval. That is going to be the interval between shots. I like to have a second just to kind of give the camera a break. So you can set to zero if you want to and see what happens, but I recommend one second. My other remote only lets me set it to two seconds, which is not the end of the world, but I'd like to have full control. Next is the number. I'm just going to show you real quickly how this works. So we're just going to do three shots at three seconds a piece with no delay. So we got that set up. Let me turn my camera back on. This remote also would just work as a regular cable release by hitting the shutter button here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my camera. Double check my settings again. After I have my composition, I guess I didn't say this before, it's a good idea to close up your viewfinder or uh, use an eyepiece cap. It really won't matter if you don't have autofocus turned on, but you don't want to disturb the camera while it's doing its thing. So here we go. Now that we have our composition and everything figured out, we're ready to go. So all you got to do is hit the start stop button and your images or series of images will begin. Magical, huh? It's got this beautiful beepy noise too in case you get lost in the woods and can't find your camera. So there you go. We just ran our three images at three seconds each with an interval of one second. Uh, just as an example, you can also release it yourself. Turn this off. Boom.